33 euro including a fully cooked breakfast that's some of the best money I've spent in Ireland for sure Hello you. Can yeah, I get very good. Can I get one of those pastries there? I can't remember the name, the yellow to your left. Custard with almond, custard coconut. Yeah, custard with almonds, please. No problem. Jesus, when they think they're not playing up like you know kind of you could be there for the day. <laughs> I know. I don't think it's like that every time though, huh? No, but sometimes like in you know, the mornings like you know kind of yeah. The first one. It's Murphy's you know, Law, isn't it? Yeah, it works straight away like an old kind of sometimes with the cars and the blockage or freeze yeah. it or boys off the things. Yeah. It's 230. 230. Oh, there's two and 30. Yep. Yeah. It's great. Thanks very much. See you again. That was the lovely town of Venice Timon. Now we are leaving town and headed south so the plan from here is to walk <laughs> and see what happens <laughs> I don't know what my legs have in them today maybe 25k let's see I was listening on my <laughs> I was listening on my headphones this morning <laughs> to some life advice from a 95 year old man and he was saying that people more than ever needed to learn to come from a place of love and not hatred because hatred is a waste of time hatred goes nowhere and it only divides if anything whereas love is what brings everyone and everything together and love is necessary in order for us to accept the differences that exist between us all. And it got me thinking then about other pieces of advice that I took on board myself. One of them was that someone told me, never say and always catch yourself anytime you do say, I can't afford that or I'll never be able to afford that. Instead, ask yourself, how can I afford that? And then the other thing that left me thinking about was how on my videos there are often comments from people who say things like oh I wish I could do that or I'll never be able to do that or I can't do that because of X, Y or Z and even though some of those reasons might be true I often feel it's a shame because I'm asking myself instead of saying I wish I could do that wouldn't it be better to ask yourself how can I do something like that and instead of thinking or saying I can't do that Maybe it's best to focus on something that can be done because you gotta do whatever you can do with whatever you have, wherever you are, at all times. These are called fox gloves. And I believe they are poisonous. <laughs> Starting to feel a bit tested coming up that hill. I know this because I was telling myself, just keep moving. Just keep moving. This won't last. Nothing does. Just keep moving. 
And sure enough, we're on the way down. I hiked the Pacific Crest Trail a few years ago and it's quite a long distance trail. It's four and a half thousand kilometers from Mexico to Canada and it's called the Pacific Crest Trail because it follows the mountain ranges all the way through America and well to cut a long story short you go very very high and then you go down and then you go very very high you can spend the whole day going up and it'll be a steep incline on a rocky trail at times you know so you have to learn to take them as they come you always expect another peak because one false summit after another always presents itself in the mountains it's good training for the mind because you learn to give up expecting anything and to just accept whatever comes you know and you realize that that's the only way through because if you're to do anything other than that you're going to drain yourself mentally and then you're physically going to feel it as a result and that's going to be the end of your journey <laughs> now we go up This is Kilfar Boy Graveyard. I suppose these small buildings here are crypts. I'm not sure what the significance of this cemetery is, but I do know from reading outside that it's a very old cemetery. inside the church. Sacred to the memory of Peter Von Moy, who departed this life, aged 56 years. You know, the ancient Celtic people worship nature and they believed that the external world and the other world were one meaning that those who pass on are still here with us today and that they are still living in the same world in some way that we see before us right now I think this may be where they had holy water and you dip your fingers in before blessing yourself. It's interesting, isn't it? It's interesting the things that you notice or happen across when you're paying attention. Coming up to a town here called Milltown Malby where there is a big music festival next week, the Willie Clancy Music Festival, which is meant to be amazing. I'm quite happy it's not on right now, because at least that way I can get into town, find somewhere to sit, have a coffee, something to eat. Okay, I was wrong. The festival is on right now. So I was wrong, this is actually the very middle of the Willie Clancy Music Festival <laughs> which, not gonna lie, I felt a bit stressed walking down the main street and I just have this overwhelming urge to get the hell out of here. If I was here for the festival, different story, you could join in. I was just looking for somewhere quiet to sit down for a few minutes and that definitely doesn't exist here right now. So I got some supplies, I'm gonna shoot on out of the town and keep walking. Walking on a really quiet back road here in County Clare. And as I was walking along the road and past one of the houses 
back there, there's a man sitting outside with his wife and he turned to his wife and said, I think that's the guy off the internet. <laughs> so Michael, Kelly and Caroline and their two kids, they all jumped in the car and drove down the road after me with bottles of Lucasade and bottles of water asking me if there's anything else they could give me. Just the loveliest people. I was thinking to myself, how mad it must be to be watching someone online and then suddenly they walk past your house <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. Right, it looks like a tractor or something has come down here at some point because there's a, a trail. It looks possible maybe to camp in there, but it's very close to the road. Um, bottom line is, I wouldn't feel comfortable here if I was to stay, you know, so I'd rather just risk it, keep going. <laughs> so that's what we'll do. Back out on the road here, keep walking. It's now nine in the evening. My feet are not worth talking about. <laughs> I think I'm around two kilometers, 25 minute walk from a place where I'm, I'm pretty confident I'll be able to pitch the tent. <laughs> it's been a long day. Okay, I'm not walking any further. Bit of a stealth camp here. Jumped over a wall. There's like a, an intersection just there. And a busy junction it would seem. This green space in here. I'm gonna book down. So I'm just gonna camp here. And I don't suppose anyone's gonna be in here until at least tomorrow. <laughs> just have to boil some water here. I'm only gonna have a pot noodle, some crackers with cheese, and a cereal bar. Because I'm too tired to cook anything else. All right, it's 20 past 10. I'm going to sleep. See you in the morning. Was a good night's sleep. In this situation, everybody wins. I get to camp in the bushes on the edge of town. Nobody knows any different. Life goes on. I'm gonna walk out onto the main road to show you. Well, to give you a better idea where I was camped. I made the mistake yesterday of climbing over this wall here with my bag on and I pretty much fell down the other side because of the weight of the bag. I was in such a hurry and trying not to be spotted by anyone because it would look rather creepy seeing somebody with a bag climbing over a wall and into a bush like that, right? So this is it, that's where I was in the bushes there. There's no way anyone's gonna spot me. I know people were walking past even quite late at night and there were quite a few cars at this busy intersection. This is the edge of Kilrush in County Clare. And it's another day. <laughs> All right, toothpaste. Good things happen to those who leave no trace. Go out, back out into the world. See what's happening today. Yes. So I made the mistake coming in here last night of climbing over the wall with the backpack on, and I pretty much fell down the other side <laughs> and into the bush.